religions are beliefs without evidence. You've not gone to a sky vacuum, but you believe men are taking pictures of a ball with clouds on it and the clouds aren't going into the vacuum. Why not? Yeah. Well, that's because it's not real. I mean, when you when you put it that way, you're making people sound pretty stupid. I mean, doing and don't feel you know stupid. If, uh, don't feel if stupid. You turn out... You're not. No, no. All right, well, you were taught this in school as being yeah. true. You were taught it in physics, which is the physical yeah. and natural world. So for you to accept that it's physics because they told you it was doesn't make you stupid. Don't ever assume that that makes you stupid. It means there's men who've lied to you. Doesn't mean you're stupid. Not at all. Mm. For my amusement, no offence to you, 10 minutes ago, you were like, I'm not religious. Five minutes later, there is curve for bullets. That's being a bit of a fundy, you've got to admit. Yeah. Yeah, but why would we Why would we need round maps? What? They're, they're not. They're all flat. All maps are flat. Yeah. So, so yeah, but like, my, what I'm trying to say is that I've... <laughs> that I've can't be flat because like it just it that's just not how it works this is this is the reaction i'm fishing for i love it tell me more yeah but like it, it does. hello hello good you very good how old are you You over 18 yeah good very pro setup there by the looks i things. mean i just give my friends sometimes I upload from here to there on YouTube, but that's about I it. I don't upload this stuff just because there's so many weirdos on it that like flash and just all the editing to blur, like, blur out and stuff. I mean, I've been on here, what, 20 minutes? So I think I've seen like 17 penises already, man. It's, it's <laughs> uncanny. Well, I'm, I'm fortunate to say I haven't seen any. <laughs> like small issues, well, pretty small YouTubers. One of my friends has over like 4,000 subs or something, so we try and record with him as much as we can. It was just so many like weirdos it's it was crazy i don't know that's quite good for me telling weirdos that they've got a religion they were unaware of is what i do on uh this particular telling platform. weirdos that they've got a religion they're unaware of yeah you included unfortunately i'm included how am i included i'm not a weirdo i didn't say you're a weirdo i wouldn't be oh. so rude no you were educated in the uk right yeah well you were raised with the religion of heliocentrism you just weren't told it was a religion what's helios well, i don't know what that is in your science class you'd have been taught that you're on a ball flying around yeah. the sun right yeah that's your religion you just didn't know it till 10 seconds ago that's our religion yeah heliocentrism it's called it came from the roman catholic church mm. i didn't uh, know that thank you no worries you want to know something else sure space is fake there is no outer space. Sky vacuum is a load of old nonsense that they lied to you about. I've definitely read a fair few, fair few things that say space is fake. But I've read a fair few things to say that that disprove those things. I mean, you don't know why. Was that you're aware that you're breathing gas? Yeah. Right. Gas, by its nature, expands to fill whatever volume you've got to fill. Right. Yeah. So if the sky was a vacuum. What do you think would happen to all the gas you're breathing? Sky is no vacuum. The sky is the ozone layer. The sky is also a layer of boundaries of particles that are heavier than oxygen, which creates a boundary not allowing them to get out. And it's also they're also strong enough combined when they're entwined, like their uh, what's it called, their structure to prevent the vacuum from getting in and prevent the oxygen from getting out. It's a, a violation of a law of nature known as entropy. So gas will always expand into any volume it's got available to it. It's a law of nature. Yeah, but then if the gas is also strong enough, uh, I did, atomically, I guess you could say, well, not atomically, but you know what I mean. If the gas is strong enough, it can also prevent getting out. No. So That's all what gas... they taught us in science. Yeah, but space can't be fake. Why not? <laughs> because, so you're saying we're in a simulation? No, I didn't say that. So where they say men go to fly around in spacesuits, they put telescopes, they go to the moon. So I can, I could that's fake. theoretically drive a car in space. There is no space. It's like Narnia. There's no place that's called outer space that's a vacuum. They claim okay, but, the sky is a vacuum. But if space doesn't exist, how can our solar system exist? It doesn't. That's part of the religion you're in. It's called Copernican model. A guy called Copernicus invented it. What's your YouTube channel name? Shout yourself out. 
my YouTube channel name. You're about to go in front of 26,000 people, so you might as well... 26,000 people? Okay, it's actual one. Do you want me to type it? <laughs> A-C-T-U-A-L space O-N-E. Is that the name of the yeah. YouTube channel that you've got? Okay, yeah. you'll have shouted out your own channel at the very least. Oh, thank you very much. Do you, do you want to know the channel name to look yourself up? Yeah, go for it. So it's Nathan Oakley 1980. Nathan Oakley 1980. Yeah, to tell people like yourself about the religion they didn't know they have and explain entropy and second law of thermodynamics to them so that they figure out that space is fake. <laughs> if you type my full I found, name I found in. your channel. Your channel was at the top. So do you want to know how they did it? Do you want to know how they gave you a religion? Have you ever heard of Polaris? A star called Polaris. Uh, North Star. Rings a bell. Yeah. Okay. Well, on the globe that you were taught in school, you've got yeah. lines around it called latitude. Is that vaguely familiar? Yeah. Okay. Well, those lines are measurements of angles to the star called Polaris. So if you imagine you're standing below Polaris, so it's directly above you, yeah? Yeah. If you, if that's Polaris above you, as you move away from Polaris, it will get lower and lower and lower in the sky. Yeah? Yeah. You back away from it. It's one degree for every 60 nautical miles. Well, that's latitude. That measurement is latitude. Well, the way yeah. it's measured is with elevation angles off the flat surface to the star. Yeah. It's, an, it's an angle. So yeah. in order to get latitude to create the globe that the church gave you to believe in as a religion, they first measure the angles to the stars off a flat surface. That's how you create the model of the globe. So you believe in a flat earth? No, that's how it's measured. Oh, right. No belief needed. That's just how it's measured. So... For example, your globe comes to fruition. It's made using measurements of a flat plane of reference. That's how you make a globe, as weird as that sounds. I mean, yeah, but then at the same time, we can't... We could, but I don't think they've put in enough effort to measure it as a globe. I reckon we could, but I don't think they've put in enough effort. No, you it's, can't. There's no curvature to the surface. So the way you create the model there of the globe... Is. No, there is curvature. Have you not seen the video of those uh, those flat earthers that put the uh, the pin, they try to do the pinhole effect, but they put them a certain distance apart, and then they tried to look through them, and it wasn't in line because the Earth's not flat. But the maps that you use are created with systems that are based on measuring Earth as a plane of reference for things like latitude. Those are practically applied systems. A map is on a piece of paper. We're not going to carry around a globe to know where we are. No, we, we mean, measure you... angles to the stars. That's why we have flat maps, so that they work with the angles that you measure. Yeah, but why would we, why would we need round maps? What, they're, they're not. They're all flat. All maps are flat. Yeah. So, so yeah, but like my, what I'm trying to say is that Earth, it, that Earth can't be flat because, like, it just, it, that's just not how it works. This is, this is the reaction I'm fishing for. I love it. Tell me more. Yeah, but, like, if, if the Earth is flat... How can I, so like, you're saying I could go from Australia, that means I'd have to go underneath and around the yeah. America. I've made that journey in a plane. I can't, I, you can go from Australia to America. So you're trying to say that I can go from here to here immediately, but I'm going this way. So how does that work? So both the systems that you've described, yeah, both use mm -hmm. the same version of elevation angles to stars. So the systems that we use for maps for both north and south are both based on angle measurements to the stars off a flat plane. Once you've got those angle measurements, you can take both north and south systems and project them both flat, one on top of the other, or the correct terms, antipodal. And that creates a model that the church used called the celestial sphere. So it's two flat Earths, the North Pole-centric system, that's flat circles made with angles to Polaris and underneath, again flat, the South Pole centric system. So they're two separate systems, but that combined system makes something called the celestial sphere. Now with that, you can project out a sphere inside a sphere. So you've got the sphere of the heavens as projected in that system yeah. on two flat planes, north and south. And then around that, you can have the globe inside okay but so you project but in, 
angles but through Howard, the globe. But like, okay, I don't know about. I'm not really highly educated on religion and stuff. Okay. But I'm I'm more educated on you know shooting and stuff because I've done it quite a lot, right? So how would the Earth's curvature affects your bullet? And there in order for curvature. there to be a curvature, it there has to any. be. There is though. Okay, where? What do you mean where? What I say? If you say there is the bullet, right? A bullet gets affected by Earth's curvature. If I'm shooting over a certain distance away with a high-powered rifle, the the Earth curvature, right, affects the downfall and the carry of my bullet. Would it not just be that it's more dense than the air it's in? No. Okay. It, the the, cur the curvature, it's difficult to explain. So, obviously... Yeah, you're, what you're describing is ballistics. But ballistics yeah. is described with respect to a flat plane also. You're talking about angles derived from flat planes when you describe ballistic trajectory. They're also but, described off a of flat earth. Maybe look it up. <laughs> I, I'd have to look into it more, but I've well, always you, been you taught... Don't, you don't need to. I'll just tell you. Ballistics is dealing okay, with... But, it's dealing with angles, isn't it? But when I've but when I've been practicing shooting and I've researched shooting, it's always said to equate for Earth's curvature. And when I equate for Earth's qu uh, curvature, I've always hit my target. So what what did you equate for precisely? I don't know how to explain it to well. you know. My dad uh, was a marksman for a bit, but he helps me with the math and he just tells me tells me you know the the stuff at the top. I don't, I don't know what to call it. I just know how to shoot. And you, what he you're always counting says, for. It's the bullet dropping with distance. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's not sure. Earth Curve. Yeah, but you're, you, I don't know how to explain it. Well, you, 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 need to, you, need to, you need to find it. someone that's good at, good at explaining stuff because I really don't know how to explain stuff. You don't need to. Well, but you're trying to defend a religion you found out five minutes ago you're part of, and cognitively you're bracing against that and telling me that your religion's true still. It isn't. I'm, I'm not religious man you are you, you're yes, chanting you are. at me that it's a ball you're telling me it must have curvature aren't you that's being a zealot no offense but that's what zealotry is of <laughs> believing that the earth is a sphere is can't is not a religion that's what beliefs are religions Bel beliefs without you can evidence. Have a belief about being religious you can't that's what religion is belief without evidence the evidence is that it's measured flat. That's how the ball gets created mathematically. The evidence is pictures from outer space. Sky vacuum where the gas would fill. Yeah. You've been there, right? No. It's because you can't get there. There's no such place. Gas would fill it. It's not real. They lied to you. <laughs> I don't think they did. You believe them. I don't necessarily believe them, but I just choose... I choose to believe what's more probable That's than what's what religions not. are based on, though, isn't it? That's uh, belief. No, probability. Probability has nothing to do with it. You're uh, fucking My producers numpy. are piping up. Shh. <laughs> that's, what, that's what religions are. Beliefs without evidence. You've not gone to a sky vacuum, but you believe men are taking pictures of a ball with clouds on it, and the clouds aren't going into the vacuum? Why not? Yeah. Well, that's because it's not real. I mean, when you when you put it that way, you're making people sound pretty stupid. I mean, you can't. I mean, you can because it's what you're doing. And don't feel you know stupid. What? If, I, don't feel if stupid. You turn out, you're not. No, no. no. All right, well, you, if were, you turn out you to were, be right. You were taught this in school as being yeah. true. You were taught it in physics, which is the physical yeah. and natural world. So for you to accept that it's physics because they told you it was doesn't make you stupid. Don't ever assume that that makes you stupid. It means there's men who've lied to you. It doesn't mean you're stupid. Not at all. What you're saying makes sense, but it's just like, it's so far-fetched. It's just like... Yeah, hmm. but for my amusement, no offence to you, ten minutes ago, you were like, I'm not religious. Five minutes later, there is curve for bullets. That's being a bit of a fundy, you've got to admit. Yeah. But you're entitled to your religion. I mean, you can believe you're on a ball all you like. That's up to you. You you keep your religion if you want it. You're entitled to it. Okay. Go in go um, in faith if you want to be on a ball. That's up to you. If if I'm being dead ass, I don't really care if we're on a flat plane or a ball. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just glad to be alive. At the end of the day, that's all I really care about. But I yeah. mean, 
if, if, if you're right, thank you for educating me. I'll definitely look into it a bit more. The Earth is mapped, navigated, measured, built on, and surveyed flat. So the way we actually deal with Earth and measure Earth is flat. And because mm. it's part of your Western world religion, when you look things up, what you'll find is apologies for why it wouldn't need to be measured ball-shaped. So they'll say things like, oh, this local area is flat, but that's only because it's a really big ball. But what are they actually doing? They're measuring it flat, like they did to create the maps and the globe. Mm. There you go. <laughs> See, yeah, you, 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 you're making sense, but yeah, I mean, you've you, you've got to have someone that's highly educated on the opposition to hear both sides at the same time. That's fair enough. I mean, what our opponents will do is they'll utilize the measurements of Earth, which is flat, to create a ball, and then justify why you don't need to measure it ball shaped you can just get away with using things like elevation angles to stars off a flat plane and that's okay that's what they'll do but don't take my word for it go and find out why you're on a ball that was made with flat earth measurements from the opponent i would because then you might still be okay to believe that religion you were in until 10 minutes ago <laughs> okay what's your name again I'll give you my nickname. My nickname's Ozzy. That's what that's what all my friends call me. Ozzy, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, Earth's it's been measured a pleasure. Flat. Thank Space you. is fake. Yeah. It was lovely talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you too. Take it easy. Yeah, you too.